Hey, how's it going guys? It's Dashi and uh, today I bring a rant slash exposed video. Um, it's about the Park MC, I'm about to get into that in a minute, but I just want to preface this by saying I am ill, I feel like complete shit. This is the third time I'm trying to make this video, I made it two other times, um, and I just thought yeah, I could make it better and it may have dragged on a bit, so I'm going to try to rush through this as quick as I can, but still including a lot of detail. This video may be a bit longer than some of my other videos, and this video in my opinion is quite a serious video. Uh, I'm going to be exposing the park on how they treat players and staff members and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys can stay up for this whole video and you can share it with some of your friends. So the first thing I want to say is how I got treated as a staff member. Now, in my first sort of period of being there, in my first two weeks, I got promoted from helper to mod, which obviously shows I was a good staff member and I was there to help and give opinions on what should be done and stuff like that. And... I was obviously a good staff member, as I got told by um, different uh, higher authority staff members that I was a quite astounding uh, staff member, which I do have proof, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, but I just want to quickly tell you the story of my staff experience. So, in my first two weeks, I got promoted to mod. I then got demoted two weeks later for making a couple of mistakes, not on purpose, but um, there were a couple of mistakes I made. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, like probably like a month, I'd say, after that, uh, I got re-promoted -pro to mod, and then on New Year's Day, I got demoted um, off the staff team. Now, usually when you get demoted off the staff team, you, well, when you get demoted, you're just off the staff team. But I got a message from Lizzie, um, an admin on the server, saying that I was such a good staff member that they thought they should keep me as helper and give me another chance. I'm sorry about that notification there. Um, they said they'd give me a second chance, and I was grateful of that. And um, I have met numerous other staff members telling me I was such a good staff member and stuff like that. All well done on how you're doing. Um, and it wasn't motivational things, in my opinion, it was just them telling me. Um, I don't, the staff team didn't really have any motivation. Every now and then, like, Curdy would probably drop a message in chat, like, oh, you guys are being, like, kind of shit, like, there's not much being done on the server, can you guys, um, like, pick your work up? Uh, despite the fact we're all sort of volunteer, uh, volunteers, and we don't actually get anything back from this, apart from an experience, which isn't really a worth uh, experience that I'd kind of like to take if I knew what was going to happen in the staff team um, and then sometimes he'd say oh well done you know blah blah blah, blah. Um, but in my opinion like no one motiv motivated us as staff members we were just sort of there because to pick up pieces that they didn't want to pick up um, and when I got kicked off the staff team no one said thank you for being on the staff team I was just kicked off I wasn't even told I literally had to contact people to tell why uh, for them to tell me how I was um kicked off and why I was kicked off uh, I had to contact quite a few people and it took them until the 15th of January I think it was for them to tell me why I was kicked off um I'm pretty sure it was the 15th of January I can't remember now but um I think that's actually absolutely diabolical so the point I'm trying to get across there is I'm saying that the staff team that have higher authority so I'm talking about admins devs or um owners they didn't have any appreciation for the staff members that are just helpers, mods, or maybe seniors. Um, they didn't say thank you to us for helping them uh, or anything like that personally to each person. So, like, when I got kicked off, I just didn't even get told I was getting kicked off. I just got removed from each chat. Uh, they have an off-topic uh, regular staff chat and an announcement chat. Uh, and that's actually the way I found out I got kicked off the staff team is by getting removed from those chats. Um, and I didn't get a thank you from anybody saying, you know, thanks for being on the staff team, um, but you know what, you've made a couple of mistakes, and we're going to have to kick you off the staff team. Now, I probably wouldn't be making this video right now if they sort of said thank you, but this is them not saying thank you or anything like that, not having any courtesy, um, has triggered me to make this video, to be honest. Um, I would probably tell people about what they have done as a staff team to certain people, uh, but I wouldn't make a whole separate video about it. I'd probably tell the people what they've said about them and stuff like that. Which I'll be announcing in this video because fuck the staff team on park. So now I want to talk about uh, how they treat certain players on the park. So there is no player quality on the park. Um, if you ask how you're supposed to deal with certain players, you're basically told if you want to deal with regular players that are non-donators or don't have any ranks, um, you're supposed to just deal with them correctly, be a bit more harsh on them because they aren't special on the server. Um, but if you're a donator, you're supposed to treat them with a bit more respect, uh, as they've given money to the server. 
Um, but if you have a celeb rank or a YouTube rank, depending on how many subscribers you are have, um, so if you have a minimal amount of subscribers, so let's say four or five k, for instance, um, you're not treated with as much respect uh, or given any authority really uh, that a higher up YouTuber such as Private Fearless would be given. Now I've had my personal issues with Private Fearless on the server. Uh, I used to have a video on my old channel which got pretty popular, and I had all the staff members, I mean all the admins, comment on the YouTube video complaining how I um, patronized Private Fearless and just insulted him and stuff like that. But uh, that's irrelevant. I'm just going to show you parts of the video and what he said to me and stuff like that now, uh, whilst I talk over this. And I'm going to talk about Stardock. So. On the staff team, I was believed to uh, think that Stardock was a horrible person. Um, I was believed to think that he was devilish. <laughs> um, everyone hated him on the staff team for some reason. They were told to hate him, I guess. Um, I don't know why. He did have YouTube rank on the server. But um, Lizzie, uh, an admin on the server. Dita, an admin on the server. Uh, horrendously a senior mod on the server. I'm not too sure where she is now. I don't go on that server anymore that I'm not staff. Um, and Curdy, who is an owner of the server, they all openly spoke about how much they hated um, Stardock, um, which is I, I think is a vile thing to do um, when you're saying that openly to staff members uh, on a public team speak that any staff member can join. Um, and I quote, I quote this: um, horrendously called Stardock and all his friends uh, cancer. Um, it's quite a common uh, insult to call people that on the internet now, but she said that in an open staff chat on TeamSpeak, and Curdy, Lizzie, and Dida used to speak about how much they hated him, and how much they thought he was a manipulative cunt, basically, um, and that's, that's horrible, that's, that's not a nice thing to say on an open TeamSpeak about a person that has a YouTube rank on your server, now, his rank was revoked for absolute no reason, as far as I'm aware of, when I asked about why his rank was removed, I was never told why, I was just told that he was being quote-unquote immature, now, as far as I remember, Stardock is a pretty nice person on the server, uh, he had his ups and downs like every player, um, and as I've shown you what Private Fearless has said, now I'm going to show you what Private Fearless said to Stardock on the server. So that clip was from Stardock's video, it's when he absolutely annihilated Private Fearless. Uh, he got mad and started calling me a cunt and everything, and that's severe toxicity. Um, and I can't pronounce that word, I'm sorry, I had something, I just can't pronounce certain words. Um, but that's against the rules, being extremely toxic, which would get you uh, probably a, a warn, I believe it used to be, and then if you continue to mute, and then probably an extended mute or a kick after that if you, ex uh, if you continued. Um, but that's him breaking the rules multiple times, so when he started calling me a cunt and stuff like that, uh, and told me to fuck off, um, using excessive swearing, um, and also when he called, um, Stardock a cunt and stuff like that, and there's probably multiple other times that, um, he called people stuff like that, but he is got celeb rank, he has celeb rank, and he is also a well-known YouTuber that gets them a lot of players and gets them ultimately gets them more money, um, and that's why he was treated with apps. He was treated like a god, uh, basically, um, because that's how the staff team are. Um, if you're gonna get their money, you're gonna be treated like a god. You scratch their back, they're gonna scratch your back. Um, so that's how they treat certain YouTubers, uh, depending on how popular they are, and how they treat players, depending on who they are. Um, so, obviously, that's they have no player quality there. Um, basically, if you want to be treated like a god, get a shit ton of subscribers, and then get celeb or YouTube rank on the server, and you'll pretty much have your own personal slaves. 
Now to summarize this video, I have a couple of things to say. As you know, I've already said that there's no player equality on the park, uh, and they suck up to be YouTubers to ultimately get them more money. Uh, and I haven't mentioned the decisions that the server makes. So usually the owners and the admins would ask for anything that could get improved on the server, and there used to be a little Google document that you can um, submit to people owners to, for the owners to read, basically. Um, and I once asked Cody if you know if they're frequently wet read and he he said yes, and I asked him, like, you know, oh, what, what, what have you read of my uh, submissions that I've made? And he said none of them, and I was like, okay, I thought you said you read them frequently. Uh, he said we did, but we didn't like your, um, your titles that you had. And it was just basically a ton of bullshit. They don't really read them. They were just trying to make excuses for not reading them. Um, but... I once said to Cody as well, instead of putting in like a Google document, I once said to Cody, like in a team speak, that um that the park are gonna be getting more players. And I'm don't know if he was aware of this because MCSG is shutting down. Uh, or is shut down and you could see a spike in the players especially when the EU main players are on like during the day usually you'd only get like fucking 20 players during the day in the EU time uh, and that spiked up to about 70 um, because the MCSG scene were looking for people like their PvP their daily PvP basically and at that point when MCSG first shut down there were no really popular SG servers that you can get frequent games in whereas you could on the park although it's a bit different to sg um they still you still have that sg scene kind of thing and they enjoyed it more than sg i'm just i'm guessing and i had a lot of suggestions that they should have read um firstly saying that where mcsg is mainly like a greek and turkish background in my opinion they maybe need to get some greek and turkish um, translators for when people get banned and stuff like that because it happens and uh, they do have like spanish translators and maybe some other languages um but he didn't take that into consideration, and he basically said it was a bad idea to hire more EU staff, um, as it would just get overloaded with staff. When I was really the main EU staff member, in my opinion, uh, there was no other EU staff member that was actually trying the way I was trying. Um, I was on there daily, I was on there, not, even when like most of the US staff members were on, I was still getting more reports than them when the, like, the U US like staff members were on. And the point I'm trying to say is that the owners don't like it when you give them suggestions that are better than their suggestions um, and that's probably the reason why X and Storio left so X and Storio left because they didn't like they were making decisions the other stuff uh, owners were making decisions without X and Storio and they weren't like he wasn't getting considered in any decisions and in my opinion X and Storio was the one who grew the server and he was the one that actually got most of the players on the server when it was first released um, and he did make the server popular and they didn't treat it with very any respect, and he had enough of it, so he just left. So, what I'm trying to say is that, really, when you think about it, behind the scenes, the Park MC server is shit. It's, it, it's just a toxic sort of community. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, if you did watch through this whole video, I do ask that you share it. Uh, and I th thank you for that, for actually listening to me, as not many people would probably listen to me. Um, and I really want to, like, get the owners to see this at the park. I want other servers to see this. And I'm not saying that you guys should start playing on the park, because um, it is an okay server. Just when you're on the staff team and you eventually witness, like, what's happening, um, it's not. Um, and that's all I really have to say. Thank you for watching. My name's Bindeshi.